corazón. Hey guys, we're back for another quick harvest. Um, we, uh, it's um, not the best weather in the world here at the moment, but um, as you can see, it's raining. It's actually not looking too bad out there, but um, yeah, we've had a lot of rain this afternoon. Um, so the bees are a little bit on the feisty side at the moment, but the good thing is we've got a flow hive, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna actually do two frames today. One's a side window shot again because I really don't feel like the last one was very good. Um, so you can see the frame we're going to harvest here. I'm going to get that one started now. Just put the finger in the road. Now, I also don't particularly like um, Very nice. Okay, we lost you there for a bit, guys. Um, that's just a lovely view up there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna leave that one to harvest. I don't like leaving it open like that, but um, it's just the restriction of what I have at the moment. Um, we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna harvest that frame. Um, side window shot again I really want to show you guys what the mechanism actually does the last one was pretty pretty amazing now this is a really good idea um, to have always check the back now these ones here are fairly full all of them um, this one's not so much because that was the last one I harvested but you can see here this one doesn't look overly full but as you can see down here it's absolutely chock-a-block full of honey so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just I got my a little do but lucky, let's go and get him. I might open that all the way. And let's come over here with a feisty little bee over there. As there would be on a day like today. So let's in there. Okay, so just gonna do the first half. You can see here, it's really not going to, here we go, it's just starting now. We get a good view of that movement. Wow, that bad, absolutely. I can't do it. Oh, wowzers. Okay, so you should have seen that mechanism move. They have captured this fairly well, actually. Um, let's have a look down here. So they haven't quite, quite gone that far, but you can see them moving around a little bit, going, what on earth's going on? And back here, of course. We can see what's going on. Getting some bees buzzing me, though. So I just only got a veil and a t-shirt, so I'm not overly keen on getting stung. All right, so I'm just going to move away from there because I've got one buzzing at me, giving me warning signs. Let's go check over this little one again. Goes again. <laughs> you can definitely hear it in the tone of his, uh, or her, sorry, the tone of her buzz. She's not happy with me at the moment. But that is absolutely teeming out of there. Um, very brief update on what we're doing. I was actually going to get into the bees today and start preparing them for their winter. But of course, with the horrible weather, I wasn't keen on getting peppered with stings, so I decided against that. Um, but they are out in full strength this afternoon, buzzing around and doing quite well. But yes, I was definitely going to um, get in today. I'd be interested to hear what your plans are for your winter, if you're going back to go into winter, or what you normally do if you're, uh, I'm in New South Wales and in, in, um, in Australia, so if you're in and around that area, I'd love to hear your plans for what, how you're going to winter your bees, so please comment and subscribe if you're interested, um, but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, 
definitely keen to get something happening. I'm pretty confident I'm going to sort of split them three and three. Um, do with one sort of one technique with one group of three and, and another with the other just to see what works better. So um, I'm probably going to leave this one on because it's got two brood and this is a fairly strong hive. I'm probably going to leave this flow hive on um, and possibly feed some of the weaker ones. So um, even though they don't need it, you still get honey around here, but I want to feed some of the weaker hives to get them really strong. So um, yeah, anyway. Uh, if you if you can get out there and have some fun with your bees guys and, and if you don't have bees already I uh, can't recommend it highly enough um, not just for the honey the honey is actually a, a nice little bonus but, uh, but the bees are just amazing so um, if you've got any questions or if you've got any suggestions of what you'd like to see by all means leave them in the comments uh, and next time um, hopefully we're doing some brood inspections and making some uh, making some plans for our wintering um, but in the meantime guys, actually just before I do sign off, let's see if I can open the rest of this one. Almost worked. There we go. Yeah, that one was a lot easier. <laughs> Hopefully we saw some movement there, I couldn't quite see it because of where it is. Um, but yeah, have a great one guys and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.